Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim and today we have a special surprise in our Ridge apiary. We have got to get a new eight frame high body set up and the reason for that is we've caught another swarm. We're going to apply pure tongue oil to our uh, high bodies here. We've got a couple deeps, we've got a bottom board, an inner cover, and a beautiful copper top cover. Isn't this just gorgeous? The way it shines in the sun, it's going to be beautiful. We're going to get two coats on here. We'll do one right now, we'll let it set, and then we'll do another one. Now we're not going to go catch that, go get that swarm until nighttime when all the foragers are in. We'll close them up, bring them in the apiary. You've seen us do that with our other colonies. Man, we got some more fun things we're going to check today. We're going to check on Hatmaker Colony. You know, that was the, um, the swarm catch we caught out of the, um, the styrofoam the first time. And of course, we've got FedEx bees. FedEx bees, we split over into family bees, the family hive. And uh, FedEx bees, did they make a queen? We got to check, see if FedEx bees has made a queen already and check how family hives doing. And then of course, we got the barn swarm catch. The barn swarm catch was huge, 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 huge. And they may be ready for a honey super. We'll see how that goes. So let's get these prepared and move on up to the ridge. Here we are at swarm catch number three. It is again in the styrofoam cooler on the tree stand by the hunting field. You know, uh, we caught our first swarm this year uh, in a trap here uh, at this very location in that styrofoam cooler. All we had was a little bit of swarm commander in there and uh, a little bit of old wax and that was it, disposable cooler. Uh, the second swarm catch was the huge barn swarm catch. I uh, put that eight frame uh, deep on the barn and those bees just flew in, they're huge. They're just bursting at the seams right now. We'll check that out here shortly. Uh, but I put the styrofoam cooler back up in this tree stand and two weeks, well, less than a week really since I reset it out, man, swarm number three came in there. I need your help trying to figure out what we should name this swarm catch. Swarm number three, we've got five colonies now here on the ridge. That's a lot. I'm not primarily a beekeeper. You know, I do rabbits and chickens and we're building a log home and you know, we live in the ridge life, but beekeeping is a part of it. And uh, I need your help coming up with a name for this, for this colony. So we'll get them down tonight, get them in the apiary, but let's go back now to the apiary and check Hatmaker, check FedEx, check Family, and check Farm Swarm. See how they're all doing. We are at the apiary now and we, as you see we've got four colonies of bees. As you recall, this is our barn swarm. Look at all the bees on the outside here. They are bursting at the seams. We added a second deep, but today we're going to add a honey super to them to so give them more room, more place to place that nectar and make some honey for us. And then we have family hive, which was the split off of FedEx. FedEx, we're going to see if it has a queen in it today. And then of course, hat maker hive, which was our first swarm catch. So let's get into the hives.
get a little smoke. There we go. Get our cover off here. Lots of bees, lots and lots of bees. It's always a good sign. Now all I'm gonna do here is just check for a queen. And if I see the good signs of a queen again, I'm just gonna put the uh, honey super on there. Of course, if there's signs of a um, swarming, that may be concerning for me, but I'm expecting a lot of good things out of a uh, barn swarm here. Oh yeah. We got all kinds of activity. Look at here. Oh, look at here, guys. So tons of brood activity. Um, I don't see any swarm cells, but we got a couple super seizure there, but lots of brood activity. Same thing on this side, brood activity. So um, we got a queen. Keep going down just a little bit more. Let's see if they've produced, yeah, okay, they've already started producing comb, producing comb on here. Look at that. They got comb going. Again, this was the barn swarm catch. You know, they, they produced a lot of this from foundationless frames, just like this. So we got all this brand new brood by our swarm, barn swarm queen. She is doing a great, great job. So let's give her some room to move up. Let's give her some room to move up and, uh, or not her to move up. We're going to put a uh, um, queen excluder on here and uh, honey super and call this a day. Queen excluder on here. Keep that queen from coming up into our honey super. On over to family hive here. This is our YouTube family reunion. Oh yeah, lots of bees. We may be able to add a second, second deep to this one soon. See how this one's doing. This was our split off of FedEx bees. Oh yeah, they're doing great. Lots of activity. And I see lots of brood in here. Not too many small hive beetles. Yeah, we may be able to put a second deep on here very, very soon. Yeah, see them. They got a little, they got room. They got nectar going on the outside here, which is great. And then if I move in, to right here, we can see brood. Oh, look at that brood, guys. So fresh brood, she's doing a great job. So we moved her over and she, oh yeah, she's got frame after frame. So we'll be putting on a second deep here very, very soon. Oh yeah, she's got lots of brood. She's doing a really, really good job. All right, let's go ahead and close. Wow, look at this. I gotta show this one right here. <laughs> I got to show this right here. Look at all that brood. She completely filled that up. She is doing amazing. Good job, queen. Not even looking for you. I know you're in there. Good job. And she's got more on that one. Okay, so we got. We will be putting in a second deep here very, very soon. Next time you come back, you'll see one on there. Let's get this back in there. Now we'll move on over to FedEx bees. See if they have a queen for us. Moving on over to FedEx bees, you can see we've got two deeps and two supers, lots of honey being made for us. And I am excited to see what we have going on in here. Now, I wanna see if we've got a queen. I know they're making honey. I wanna see if they've got a queen for us. So that is what we're looking at. This is just a inspection to see if they've got a queen. Let's get these supers off here. Supers are where they all oh, put all the honey for us. And this one feels nice and heavy. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of honey in there. So much honey. I'll show you guys one of these. That's, this is what you want. This is what you want. That is spring honey on brand new, fresh, fully drawn comb. This is a foundationless frame, so I can cut this out for a comb honey. That is going to be delicious. Okay. And we got tons of that in here. So let's move on over, get the next super off and boy, they are working on it too. So that's good news. Honey in here, not quite as heavy, but I want to see if we've got a queen. I want to see if we've got a queen. Let's get that on here. 
small hive beetles no worries all right do we have a queen do we have a queen i like to pull the outside frame first get that moved over oh that's so full of honey oh my gosh look at that honey guys lots and lots of honey there were some queen cells on there and the queen cells were all popped open so let's see if we see some brood eggs or a queen oh we've got capped honey on this one that's amazing that's what i want to see but i want to see signs of a queen lots of nectar lots of nectar that's good come on over here i don't see eggs we got honey nothing on that side yet now towards the center do we have any kind of we have queen cells and let's see if we see a queen or if we see let's see if we see a queen or we see eggs don't see any eggs oh there's a queen we've got a queen right there she went she's hiding over here there she is guys right here's our queen she's playing she's playing hide hard to get look at that right here good queen so we have a queen inside here right in the center where i thought she'd be so let me get her make sure i don't squish her there she is she's going up the side there so all right we've got a queen in here so i'm not going to do much else inside fedex bees we want to just see if she had a queen and she does so happy so so happy things are going great in the ridge apiary so honey being produced here get this all packed away and we will move on to hat maker colony it is starting to thunder up cloud up i heard some raindrops dropping you see it's starting to get dark up there we need to get this done and check on hat maker here we just want to see how she's doing if she's growing out any so if uh, we see activity queen activity and growth we'll be happy okay i still see lots of bees i got one two let me pull this outside one here out I may end up having to take some from over there on my net when I my next entrance but she's got um, nectar and she's got brood oh she's got fresh brood too and oh yeah she's kind of spotty there but um, you gotta remember um, she was working hard to get uh, this place built up so she's filling in everything she can and that looks a lot more steady but yes we need to give her Looks like we need to give her some more stores and uh, some more bees on the next entrance here. So let's we'll do that. But um, I saw lots of activity, which is a good sign. We're going to leave her alone before the rain comes and these guys get mean and nasty. So we'll finish up here. Well, tonight we'll close up our number three swarm catch, get them brought in here to that new uh, newly oiled uh, hive body and. Uh, Thank you, sir. We'll have uh, five colonies here on the ridge. You can see lots of activity going on. We'll do a little supplemental work here. Uh, next time you come back, you're gonna see a lot more activity, uh, lots of honey being produced. We may even be extracting the next time you see us. So if you wanna see some ooey gooey sweet honey pouring out of that comb, check back with Ridge Life. If you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, please do so now. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. Until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.